used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first first frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful berry grove. Oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving glimmer berries that long? That's right, for many years. Wow. <laughs> I have no idea. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. Uh, I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... Oh. I guess... They didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm, I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm, no, that's not it. Aha! Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just wanted to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, oh, what's oh. this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. 
We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked. The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait! That's... that's... that's my design! That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too! So did I! We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then... then... <gasps> I accused you all of copying me! When you didn't! Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kinda, sorta, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it! Come Let's on! Do it. Come on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give me another oh, second. second! Give me another second. I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! When things aren't looking up And it seems you're out of luck Just think behind the clouds could be a beautiful 
to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestone. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. <laughs> Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. <laughs> Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard, what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now, she's left us! <laughs> can someone help me down? I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! Up there! Whoa! Hey! Over here! Whoa! Well, we've just got to save her! Come on, everyone! Grab that garland! Please! Oh, uh, I'll take this wing! Follow me! I'll pick a route through the day!
Strawberry. What's going on? Well, I know you're already helping me on the float, but would you also be able to make me a gown? Please? <laughs> Don't be silly. Of course. I'll design it as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, <sighs> at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um, <laughs> see, a perfect match. <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what would really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go! Bye! <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I... I, I don't? No, <laughs> I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. outside. You were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there were little holes in it. It's ruined. Jadybug. Yes, Plum? Stop. Don't move. Your shoes. What is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waiving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum, what can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you 
You'd help me? After I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one. And I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will.